Okay, what I'd like to do is walk you through and end a full install of the Flexi product. So uh, recommend a couple of things. Um, if you have a browser available internet, just go to thinksai.com, go to the Help Center, and you'll see a button there called Getting Started. So if you click on that, this is, this is good information here. I want you to check to make sure you have the right system requirements. This will give you all the hardware requirements. Make sure you've got at least that much uh, available. And then you're going to see, um, if you go back, you're going to see activating your license and downloading Flexi. And this is actually going to give you instructions, uh, and it's very, very easy. You're going to be getting a activation code okay that's what's going to happen here you're going to get an activation code when you get that you're going to head over to the saicloud.com website and you're going to type your activation code in there and click activate and that's going to take you then you're going to create an account unless you already have one and it's going to that's going to require your email then once you get uh, the activation done you're going to actually see your product here and you can actually uh, view your product. This is going to allow you then uh, to go to a page where it can be downloaded and this is where you have three steps. You're going to download it, install it, and then license your software. So once you get to this page just click download and that will allow you to get your software started. Now there's some additional instructions for earlier software but uh, installing Flexi 22, just click there. And this will take you through the process as well. But I'm going to show you this live. Uh, I already downloaded this file. I'm going to reinstall my software on my laptop here. And it's going to take me to a page where I accept the agreement. Then it's going to ask me where do I want to install it. Uh, if you're installing this brand new, you can probably accept what's here. If you're reinstalling, it may add an additional number on the end like in this case, uh, production suite 22 underscore one, two or three. So you can install it in the same directory if you want to, but a lot of folks like to install it in a different directory uh, just to make sure that it's a clean install. Go down here, it's gonna install a program called SAI Connect, and that's gonna allow you to get all kinds of information uh, like uh, your version numbers and all kinds of things. I'll, I'll show that to you as well and then you're just going to follow these instructions to assault, uh, install that. Uh, your activation code is never going to change, so you'll always have your activation code here, and this will allow you to uh, turn on and off your license on your computer and perhaps install it on a different computer and turn it on and off there. So let me show you exactly what I've got here. I've got my, uh, my, my program here started, so I'm going to click OK on that. And uh, this is actually going to start the program for installing. So as we said, here's the uh, agreement. We're going to accept the agreement and click Next. Uh, as you can see here, like I said, and I've already uninstalled 22 and it's looking to reinstall it. So I'm going to put it back in my original uh, location here, uh, the Suite 22. Click Next. Uh, you can actually install the samples if you want to, and you definitely want to install Connect down here. So make sure you, you turn that on, okay? But next, this is just telling you it's going to create a uh, uh, folder called uh, SAI Production Suite 22. Some more information here, and you can click Install, and it's going to start extracting the files so that you can install the software. It's going to install some things that Windows needs to uh, run the program. So that's, you know, if it's not already installed, it will install it on your computer. Everything is pretty automated here. So just be patient. It takes a minute or two to, to install some of these programs. All right, so it's uh, making progress. You'll, you can read these notes here. It doesn't take very long. Once that gets started, all right, then it goes, uh, this is my thing, to ignore that. All right, so now it's extracting the files that it's going to use to install the program. So this is part of the installation process. You will see this monitor extend all the way across here, and it will then uh, give you several other messages once it 
nears the end. All right, we're nearing the end of that. Um, that whole process there in real time was about oh, two to three minutes maybe. Um, so just be patient. Just gonna, installing quite a bit of information here. All right, so once it's successfully installed, it says the license was installed properly. Uh, and then it actually has uh, uh, information here. So I had, I had removed uh, my license here. I actually want to license this computer again. And then it's going to ask for the activation code, which we'll type that in. Then we choose next, and it will show the licensing was successful. Hit finish down here, and it does a little cleanup, and your program should be installed. It's going to place uh, some icons on your desktop. It's going to ask you uh, what product you want installed. It even allows you here, you're going to create a desktop shortcut, yes, for sure. If it's a clean installation that you want, you can clear the preferences. Uh, had you reinstalled the software if you wanted to do that. Uh, but I'm also going to uh, copy data from another installation. If you want to, you can copy the data from uh, some other uh, installation if you have multiple uh, installations on your computer. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to click OK on this. It will then process again. And now it's downloading some additional files that are needed. And at this point, you get to the uh, SAI Connect program. So SAI Connect, you definitely want to install this program. Just click Next on here. Again, it's going to download some information and then install this. And uh, SAI Connect is your way to uh, connect your program to the servers at SAI so that you can uh, get various downloads, um, all kinds of extras from SAI. So, be sure you install this program. When you restart your computer, it will actually uh, reside in your uh, system tray down there. So it says start application after installation. I'm going to say yes to that and just click finish. Uh, I would recommend you view the uh, PDF files. This is now Connect starting. This is my version of Connect. Yours will look different. Uh, but as I said, it will show you all your applications. It will indicate to you whether there's updates. It will give you statistics on your jobs. Uh, when you go home, it gives you all kinds of information here. You can actually go to the uh, Flexi community from here to uh, Addendo to get live training. Um, you can get printer profiles. There's all kinds of information you can get from here. On the right hand side over here, you can do things like uh, download sign design elements, get the uh, find my font application, uh, you know, artwork approval tool is here, file storage is here. There's all kinds of information here. So you want to read about it and use this for sure. Once you click that off, you can click finish here. And that's actually your program has finished. And again, um, I, I decided to open the uh, PDF file to read it, but that was not necessary. But uh, the program is fully installed now. Uh, if you look in my case, I actually have uh, an icon over here with the program installed. Uh, you can now actually double click on that. And that will start your program once you get to this point. And there's my Flexi program starting up. And I'm ready to rock and roll, OK? And if you, uh, what I'd recommend to you at this point also is run your production manager. When you run your production manager for the very first time, uh, it will ask you what printers do you want to uh, set up, what cutters do you want to set up. So I happen to have some already set up. But if you didn't, uh, it would actually uh, allow you then to install those printer. So that's the full setup. I hope you enjoyed it and enjoy your program. It's one of the best in the world.